Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. With the weather being nicer now, it's the perfect time to do some DIYs for the outdoors. Now, a lot of these items were either things that I found or figured out how to reuse around my house. I wanted to share with you some easy DIYs. I love looking on the Facebook marketplace for different free items. Well, the other day I found these really cool planters. There was three wooden ones and they were free. I had noticed it like right away. So I went and got them and was able to pick up these three planters completely free. I definitely could use these as planters, but I thought let's do some different projects so that I can spark your creativity so that maybe you're encouraged to do some different projects around your house. So with these two planters, I had to clean them off because they were really dirty, but I thought they would make really cool plant stands. So all I'm going to do with these is add an interesting stencil to the front of two of my planters. I picked up this bee stencil off of Amazon and I thought it was just kind of fun and fresh and outdoorsy. So all I'm going to do on one of my planters is add the stencil three different times, just kind of changing up my pattern so it looks random. I'm gonna be using Waverly White Chalk Paint to stencil the bee onto the planters. Now this bee stencil I picked up off of Amazon. I'll link it below along with anything I'm wearing. You guys know the drill, it's all in the description box. Since I did three bees on one of my planters, I decided on the other one I was just going to add two. And I thought it kind of balanced it out and looked a bit random. Now I just placed these on either side of my front door. And then on top of it, I'm going to be putting in terracotta planters that are a little bit larger from Walmart. I think these are like $4.94 at Walmart. I do grocery pickup, so I'm able to get those in my order. I haven't been able to go out and get any real plants. So in these planters, I'm going to put these spring topiaries that are fake that I had on hand and they just fit in there nicely. So I think this was an easy way to frame out my door. Now I will link below my rug and accent rug that I'm using if you're interested in those as well. With that third planter box, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I started by deconstructing the planter box, pulling off all of the wood pieces. Next, I had to pull off the nails so that I could use the wood boards. I needed two long boards. And then I wanted to create a little planter box at the bottom. So we used some of the boards to cut two side pieces, a front piece, and then also we wanted a piece that we could put on the bottom. So I'm going to be using wood glue to hold this together. And I wood glued the two long boards together, put some clamps on it, and let that dry for a couple of hours before I went any farther. Next, I created a little planter down at the bottom of my boards by just wood gluing the side pieces. Then I wood glued the piece for the front and the one on the bottom.
I let that completely dry. I'm going to be stenciling on house numbers and I picked up a set of numbers off of Amazon. So all you're gonna do is put your numbers out and then I'm gonna do one light coat with Waverly White Chalk Paint. I wanted this to look really rustic so it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Next, you could fill this up with real flowers if you wanted to. I left that gap at the bottom so it would have drainage, but if you don't have real flowers on hand, you could always use the fake ones that you have. And then I think this is great to sit out in front of your home. I picked up this old board at a thrift shop for $2. It's been sitting around my house. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it, but I used those same letters that I had from Amazon. It's a pack of numbers and letters. And I took out the words that spell seed. And I thought that looked really farmhouse and cute. And I really didn't even cut the board. It's jagged. It looks great the way it is. So I'm just going to lay the letters out on my board and then I will paint them with Waverly white chalk paint. Now if you only do one coat, you don't really have to distress or sand because it's going to look not filled in. So that's kind of my tip is just don't put on as much paint and you won't have to end up pulling it off. And I think this looks great sitting outside in my grouping. I hope you guys got some great inspiration for how you could DIY different things around your home. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed. I post two DIYs each week. And if you missed our last video, I'll link it here. So just click here and you can watch that video. And I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.